What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Bagpiper coming at you from the mod shop, aka Fatty's Garage. Got my, uh, OMS Devil Ants. Pack full of some B3 Virginia Flake. <clears throat> and in this pipe, which I tried to smoke first, but it was still too wet. This is my uh, Mod Piper Amps. I have some fresh out of the press, and that's why it's not working. <clears throat> B3 Latakia Flake. Let's go on to that. I don't know. We're not going to be able to tell in the bag. Let's go on to it. Stowed Virginias. <clears throat> 50-50 stove Virginias, and those Virginias are 50-50 American and Canadian flu-cured Virginias. And the American flu-cured Virginias that are in it are from 2013, so five years old. And then uh, the Canadian flu-cured Virginias. Each Canadian adds a little bit of sweetness to it. And then 50% Latakia. That you might remember a couple weeks ago, I showed the video of me pressing. It smells amazing. <clears throat> it looks amazing. It's dark. It's smoky. <clears throat> it's all things Latakia that I love. And the little taste that I was able to get, it's really good. So, tomorrow, I will be doing the drawing for my 250 sub giveaway. 23 entries so far. And these are the main three components that you will, or tobaccos that you'll be getting. The brown flake, 50 grams. Latakia flake, 50 grams. Virginia flake, 50 grams. <clears throat> and then I also have uh, Some other stuff to throw in um, we'll let that be a surprise if I am able to get the flake done today or I mean the excuse me the twist if I'm able to get the twist done today and I get it twisted up and stoved um, I'll probably open up the vacuum bag <clears throat> cut off a little piece of each re-vacuum seal it and throw that in as well but uh, if I do whoever gets it you need to let it sit for a couple of weeks before you open it up to smoke it just so it has that time to get all those flavors melted together I shot a little uh, video of me pulling a Latakia flake out of the press I'll put that in here You can see that 
the imprint from the letters on the cap. It's awesome. Huh? You're gonna leave. I'm not leaving. Uh oh, put that up for me. Thank you. Took it off. Just took it off. Mm -hmm. That is much. Was I gonna break it, Daddy? No. I'm cutting it. What? I'm cutting it. But what are you cutting? It smells great. beautiful and that's such a dense plug now I did have some separation there a little bit but that's because I pulled it out of one press and then put it into the other one and then also had to press it I had to do a pre-press to get it all in there so if we'd have done that all at once consistently and not put it in one press and then transferred it over that wouldn't have happened but still not bad that just makes it easier to cut because it is 50-50 so it's all going to be the same. I got to tell you there's something really enjoyable about smoking a blend that you made. And it being good. Now I'm sure putting uh, the Virginia flake that I'm smoking is four different Virginias. It's 25% of each one. 2013 American Flu Cured, Canadian Flu Cured, Bright Leaf Sweet, and Bright Leaf Smooth. Uh, the only thing I think it could use which I'd like to try would be to put some red Virginias in it but it has an amazing flavor man I love it <clears throat> I just, 
Virginia Flakes, you know, throwing four different Virginias in, calling it a Virginia Flake isn't new. But... It's still something that I did. And, uh... I mean, from leaf to, to bowl. And it's just awesome. The only thing that would make this better is if I was smoking it in a pipe that I made. And I'm really close to that. I don't know if y'all remember me showing the uh, barrel pipe. Uh, I think the last time I did like a little slideshow of the progress. I didn't have any of the lines and stuff in it yet. I'm waiting on the uh, stain to come in. I still got to sand the stem. First one I ever did. <clears throat> That's why it's marked, if it'll focus. Can't really see it, but it says MSC001 USA. <clears throat> Except the one didn't turn out very well. But this will be mine, so it doesn't matter. I might, I think once I get that sanded, to a point where it's almost done, I'm going to do the hot water method and bend it down just a tad. Look on to it. Not a bad little barrel poker though. That one started life as a kit pipe. And the one I'm really excited about. I don't think I've showed this on video at all. The little ants that I made. I was going for that compass style <clears throat> originally, but then I tried that bit, held that bit up next to it, and I really liked it, especially once I get this uh, stained black and then get the wood grain coming back through. Um, now on both of these, uh, it's not, it's just not going to show up the smoothness that I get to see. <clears throat> on both of these pipes, <clears throat> I started out, look at that, look at that, look on to me. That, I'm, I'm super happy with this one. But uh, both of these started out as blocks. And I put them on the uh, belt sander, my 1x32 belt sander. And uh, Using a 60 grit belt, I brought those into rough shape. And then I hand sanded each one of them, starting out with 100 grit, then 220, then 500, then 1200. <clears throat> I hand sanded those. Um, to just really get a good smooth finish. So, that's it. Just wanted to show off the three uh, blends I've got so far. The three main ones that you're going to win in the 250 sub gall that I'm drawing tomorrow. Some of y'all, I've been 
going back through my videos and checking all the comments and then I've also been just putting in keywords 250 mod gall VR uh, my name been the bagpiper and I'm doing my best to look and make sure that I don't miss anybody So hopefully y'all like it. Hopefully uh, now that uh, the pipes are finished and y'all can see what they look like as a finished pipe instead of the rough pipe, you uh, like it. I'm really happy with the way this one came out. <clears throat> I have one more piece of briar that I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if I'm just going to cut it in half <clears throat> and do two little compass pipes out of them or if I'm going to make one pipe out of it. It's pretty big. It's a pretty decent size. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, this video is getting a little long. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. This is technically my Sunday. So... I'm going to get up and uh, start working on the shop. Got some more cleaning up to do. Alright. Y'all keep them full and rolling. Bagpiper out.